Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a homeware haul for you and I've also got some dumpster diving finds. I have found some real treasure on the streets of London so I'll be sharing those with you towards the end of the video as well. We've got quite the mixture of stuff. Some incredible cookery books, some vintage Christmas decorations. I have a toy that I think might be from maybe the 50s, I'm not sure, so lots to look forward to. I've also got some bits from Home Bargains, Ikea, and Home Sense to share with you from my recent trip there. With Luke, we went to the Greenwich Retail Park. I will link that shopping vlog in the description box, along with my recent trip to Primark as well. I've been back into Primark to see all the spring bits that they've got in store. They did not disappoint, however, I did come home from Primark empty-handed. But I have lots to share with you, so let's get straight into it. Let's have a quick sip of the Diet Coke. Pumpkin is just chilling out there, and Mittens is chilling out under there. <laughs> so yeah, quick sip, and then we will get into the homeware haul. You can't beat a Diet Coke at this time in the afternoon. It's around 3 p.m. It is peak slump time, but I am feeling very energetic to show you all this stuff. So, first of all, in Home Sense, I picked up this book. As you can see, it is a Henry Matisse book, but it is also, not really a book, <laughs> it is a box. It is a storage box and this was £7.99. The company that makes this is called The Box Office, see what they did there, and I've got a few of them. So I thought these would be really nice for keeping little keepsakes, memories. I'm a bit of a sucker for a little keepsake, so whenever I get like a wristband or a little thing or a pin badge or something like that from something that I've done, I mean, you know what I'm like with fridge magnets. But I do have some random bits and bobs and I thought a book like this, or a box like this I should say, would be perfect to keep those in because then it all looks nice and tidy. And no one will know that it's full of my little memories. So I've also got a slightly smaller one. So this one was 6 dollars Again, a Matisse book. I really love the colors and the tones of these. And then one more, a little one with a cat on it and this one was 4 dollars And I thought, let's just show you that, it could be quite nice for jewelry as well. And of course you could put these upright on your shelves and have them like this. And you can also stack them. So I thought I'd probably have them on the side like that, maybe with like a candle on the top or just something like a little ornament and they'll look quite nice together. I have moved a piece of furniture up here into the loft. Lots of home updates are on the way. You might recognize this sliding unit from the office downstairs. If you've been here for a long time, I mean the office makeover was I think we're talking 2018 on my YouTube channel, so you'll have to go back if you want to watch that one. But this is an old sliding doors IKEA unit. It's meant for shoe storage, but you can basically store loads of different things in there. It's just plain white and simple. So I've got a bit of a surface in the loft now, so I can do some nice little displays, arrangements. So it might be quite nice up on there. What do you reckon, Pumpkin? He's fast asleep. So onto IKEA. Didn't get much in there at all. I was looking at the Pax wardrobe systems and draining boards. Didn't get either. I'm gonna be doing some work on the kitchen, so waiting to see um, new sink sizing for a draining board. I did, however, pick up some scubs. Have you heard of scubs? Do you know what I'm talking about? They are these fabric containers, perfect for in your drawers, for organizing clothes in, but you can, of course, use them for many different things around the home. In here, you get six of the scubs in different sizes. You get two little square ones, you get two rectangular ones. I'll get a couple out to show you. And then you get two large. So they're perfect for organizing things like your underwear or sportswear or socks children's clothing, all kinds of stuff. And they fold flat like this, and then they have the little zips on them. They come in like a creamy off-white and also the gray. I like the gray because my wardrobe is gray and my chest of drawers is mahogany, so it's nice and dark, kind of matches that vibe. As you can see, you just zip them up and then you can categorize things within your drawers. So this is the largest size, which is a square shape. You get two of these. You also get two of these smaller squares and you get two of these rectangles. If you fold t-shirts, for example, you can fold them up on their sides and stack them that way in there. And then you can also do things like your underwear, boxer shorts. So I think these could be quite good for categorizing children's toys. You could sling things like, you know, Lego into one, Barbie clothes into another one, that sort of thing. And it's five pounds for the set, so I think they're really good value. Okay, on to Home Bargains next, and I had to pick up Sadie the Bunny here. I thought she was absolutely 
stunning and also only 3 99 I feel like she's really timeless with the kind of plaited, really nice natural um, fibre look and it just says decoration only, this is not a toy and it's from the Lifestyle Edit Tranquility. So there's this Lifestyle Edit in store that has some lovely bits, you might have seen it on my TikTok or my home Instagram account which is Mr Carrington Home on Instagram or my TikTok is just Mr Carrington where I share things as I go along and I just thought this was a really nice piece. It's perfect, isn't it? And it will go in any home. And also, Sadie reminds me of Mittens in the way that Sadie's sitting. That is exactly how Mittens sits. I feel like if I change the ears on that, that literally could be Mittens. And any ideas for Easter display with this? Maybe we pop a little Easter wreath around her, or yeah, she'll look quite nice sitting up on the mantelpiece. Love her, 3 99 what a bargain. And I also just got some tissues whilst I was in there because you get two, four, six, eight, 10. 499p, the um, Paloma Classic Super Sock. And I also picked up another of these little trolley coins, which is just a little supermarket trolley design. They're 39p, and I seem to always lose them, but they're very handy when you haven't got a one pound coin on you. So next up, that is it for the shops. I haven't bought much at all, but what I have got for you is two huge bags, and there's more on the floor as bits that I found on the streets of London. All of this stuff is things that people were throwing out. The books that I'm about to show you were piled up on somebody's wall with a little sign saying, please take. And all of the random stuff, and I mean random stuff, was in a great big box that was made out of like wood, again with a sign at the top saying, please take me all free. So I helped myself. I always carry a carrier bag in my pocket these days. Carrier bags aren't cheap anymore, are they? They're about 30p or 40p to get a plastic carrier bag, and obviously it's better for the environment. I will show you in a future video how to fold a carrier bag into the perfect little triangle so it's always in your coat pocket, and it has been so handy. Whenever I'm in m and and I've forgotten a carrier bag, whenever I pop into the co-op, or whenever I pass a little haul like this and I think yep yeah, that looks coming home with me so I filled my carrier bag when I saw all of this and let's get straight into it thumbs up if you like a little bit of dumpster diving <laughs> so first of all we have this beautiful white and blue or blue and white I should say porcelain cup with this incredible design on it how about that so we have this chap on a horse I feel like he's waving goodbye to somebody, or maybe he's escaping from something, I'm not sure. Really nice little handle on this, and it is a little bit chipped underneath, and I'm just brushing off the dirt here, and it says England underneath. So, you always know where things are from. Let me know, do you recognize this print, this style? I would love to know more. And any bright ideas for what we could do with this? Any upcycle ideas, DIYs? Do let me know in the comments. Some of you might recognize this, from your childhood, perhaps? I'm not sure quite how old it is. This is a toy oven. It is made out of metal and a bit of plastic detail on it. So we have like this clock at the top and a little shelf with hooks. We have some hobs here and I think maybe back in the day you would have put like a tea light in there and actually cooked on this. Was that a thing? And yeah, it's all made out of metal. It's a little bit rusted and it needs cleaning up a bit, but I'm gonna have a go at cleaning this to try and bring it back to its former glory. So I literally will be cleaning <laughs> these ovens. And look at that, I mean, how detailed and incredible is that? I'd love to know if you recognize this, what year you think it's from, whether it's a make, is it like a old Fisher Price type thing? Or, you know, is there a company that made these? Just looking underneath and I can't see any names on this. And the little gas hob kind of like dials here, they even like click as you turn them. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's so clever, it kind of stops. So what a cool little toy that would have taught children literally all about <laughs> using an oven. Amazing. And yeah, very, very clever. But yeah, I feel like in here, maybe you would pop a little flame or something? I'm not sure. I mean, imagine doing that these days. But yeah, any bright ideas as to what I should do with this? I will clean it up carefully. I'm wondering if even like a museum might like this. There is the Museum of Childhood in London. Or I could turn it into a little planter. I don't know, any ideas? Let me know. But yeah, I would love to hear more about this. Little toy oven. 
Next up, we have some Christmas bits. This is all so random. So first of all, we have these paper plates. I feel like these, again, could be quite vintage. I'm not sure. Um, they kind of remind me of the bar that I went to in Covent Garden around Christmas time with that really kitschy theme. These might not be vintage. Some of you might say to me that you've seen these in the shops a couple of years ago, but yeah, if you recognize them, do let me know. But this is definitely vintage. This is some old fairy lights. And these are very old. They've got the glass light bulbs in them. And then the individual plastic colored. What do you call these? They're almost like a little flower design, aren't they? But what was interesting is that this part, rather than it going into the plug socket, it actually goes into a lamp. So I did try this out with caution and it didn't work. So yeah, I wonder if I could get these up and running again. And again, any bright ideas as to what I should do with these? Because I feel like they're so vintage and of their time, they definitely shouldn't be going in the bin. So yeah, any ideas? I am all ears. And I wonder if I could get these fixed. Hmm. <laughs> Next up we have a beautiful Christmas decoration. Some of you might remember the little rusty metal robin on a little bird on like a, um, a hoop that I bought. Very similar style to this. So this is the sort of thing that you often see in Christmas markets, like the German Christmas markets. And then we have this little cherub or fairy with a little wand or a sparkler. <laughs> As you see, this was so random, all this stuff. And I'm not sure whether it came from like a few doors down. There's a shop that sells like secondhand furniture and stuff. I'm wondering if maybe they'd done a house clearance. There was bits and pieces left over they didn't want to sell. No idea. Next up, we have this money box. I think this is a vintage piece and this does actually have a price on it which is making me think that yeah perhaps at some point some of these things were for sale or maybe they've taken them down to the boot sale to try and sell them but yeah Cadbury's buttons and this is a tin and a little money tin so this is probably um something that you would pick up with the buttons in it I would imagine like a little bag of Cadbury's buttons nothing inside it now no money sadly but yeah let me know if you recognize this one if you remember what time that was from. And I picked up a few little cookie cutters or like little baking containers. I'm not sure exactly what these are, but I'll show these to Luke and see if he wants them. He might like these for like styling. If not, I thought you could just use these for like paints in them or something. I'm sure there's a use for them. Let me know any more of your brilliant ideas as to what we could use these for. I have seen cookie cutters being used where you get a few different ones in different shapes and then you string them together to make like a Christmas wreath, but you need like quite a few of them. I'm not sure what we could do with something like this, but yeah, let me know any ideas. And then I picked up this fork. I just thought that was quite a nice fork, <laughs> just on its own. And this one says, um, Dixon Stainless. And I think it says Firth Stay Bright. It's teeny tiny writing on there quite tricky to show you without a microscope but yeah maybe one of you will be familiar with that as well and I picked up this little strip of I'm not sure exactly what this is yeah I don't know if any of you recognize that there's not much of it there that's all the random on to some cookery books next so I picked up quite the pile here it was a very heavy bag I'll just whiz through these quickly so first of all we have New York cult recipes it's got a nice um, design on the front here of a Broadway restaurant. And this is by Mark Grossman. So I thought that was really cool. I like the um, map on the back there as well. I'll just show you. Full of really lovely photography, as you can see. And some of the recipes in this do look incredible. I really hope to get back to New York soon. I've got some air miles, so I feel like that could be quite a nice way to use those. Next up, we have this one, Moro. The cookbook it says Sam and Sam Clark share a passion for the food of Spain, North Africa, and East Mediterranean at their London restaurant. And on the back it says a rare and very special cookbook that's from Nigel Slater. And Nigella Lawson says this is the book I've been waiting for. And I've had a flick through this, and again, it looks absolutely incredible. Some really lovely recipes in here. Then we have Homemade, the ultimate cookbook featuring over 200 from scratch recipes by Yvette Van Boven. And then we have Jerusalem. This says the flavors and smells of this city are our mother tongue, wild herbs picked on school trips, days in markets, the smell of the dry soil on a summer's day, goats and sheep roaming the hills, fresh pitters, chopped parsley, chopped liver, black figs, syrupy cakes, crumbly cookies. And this has got this really beautiful fabric cover as well. And the photography 
in this is stunning. Yeah, how about that? And then finally we have the sweet roasting tin. One tin cakes, cookies and bakes. So yeah, that is all the cookery books that I picked up. As you might know, I'm not much of the chef. So I will be passing these on to a friend who loves cooking. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the homeware haul and also the bits and pieces that I found on the streets of London. Let me know in the comments if you recognised any of the kind of mystery items and also let me know which item was your favourite. Have you got any of the cookery books? Have you made any of the recipes from them? I'll link them all in the description box so you can click through and read more about the books themselves in case any of them grabbed your attention. But yeah, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. I've got loads of home updates coming for you. It is all go here at the moment and some really fun vlogs as well. So stay tuned for those. Those. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this, and I will see you very soon. Bye!